Good morning. I hope you are all well today. My name is Theo and you are turned into our Generation News. I will bring, bring you all the news about events happy, happening all around us seven days a week. Good morning. Welcome back to Gen News. My name is Semi and I know many of us have closed school for now. How are you doing? What a week this has been. We have an action-packed bulletin just for you. Here are some highlight, highlights. I was... I will not concede the tale of a king who, who, didn't, who didn't want to share his stone with anyone, even a baby. First time dads, party on the streets. Now let us turn out to focus to the place where King Herod has been farming over news that a king may have been born in his hood. Our senior correspondent Munyeza has been following this story is at a King's Press briefing. Let us join her right now. I am the greatest king. This is all fake news. Mr. King, Mr. King, you tweeted yesterday that you received some guests from the East. Is that true? We are in the middle of negotiations with countries that have never been in such an amazing negotiation with me. It's going to be amazing. My officials are doing all they can to make me feel at home. Plus, I hear there's a child some, somewhere who wants to be a king. Put a child. But the people know that my numbers speak for themselves. I have the greatest ratings of all times. Thousands upon thousands. Know that I am the greatest king of all. Mr. King, Your Majesty, is it is it true that there might be there might be a next king coming to replace you? It's all fake news. In fact, I am the best leader. I lead in a bigly way. All my leadership qualities are amazing. Everyone around me knows that I am the one to bring Mr. King. this kingdom to the next era of bigness. Mr. King, Mr. King. And no, you can give me all the Nobel Peace Prizes. I'm not asking for them for myself. It's the people who want me to win a Nobel Peace Prize. So, who is the best king? Better than all. Mr. King, Mr. King. Someone tell those wise men that I am wiser than them. Let them stop listening to fake news. My kingdom is great and I am great. I need to go do some important stuff. I have a baby shower to organize. I might even invite him to play a game of golf. <laughs> the king has just left the briefing room. All we know is that there will be a baby boy born in Bethlehem. His name is Jesus and he will be the savior of the world. Back to you, Beth. Thank you, Muyenza. I think what we are seeing today is a shift in power from a king who is afraid that someone may take his throne to rumors of a king born. We will be back after this short break.
for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn fall on your knees oh hear the angel voices oh now divine oh now when Christ was born. Truly he taught us to love one another. His Lord is love and his gospel is peace. Chains shall he break for the slave Joseph, to whom she was engaged, was a righteous man and did not want to disgrace her publicly. So he decided to break the engagement quietly. As he considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. Joseph, son of David, the angel said, Do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child within her was conceived by the Holy Spirit. Matthew 1 21 he will give birth to he will give birth to, to a son and she will have to call him the name Jesus and he will and because he will save us from all our sin welcome back we now join Jero Jerome, who has, who 
has been following the latest developing story from the cattle from the cattle shed in Bethlehem and now brings us the following report. Hi Jerome, how is it over there? The king is born! 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 The king is Thank you, Simi. Indeed it has been an it has been a night of great excitement here at Bethlehem. As you can hear, so many people have joined and are on the street celebrating. Some have joined on Zoom and joining and are joining us on Facebook to as we continue to develop this to cover this developing news. We caught us with some shepherds and guys, guys. What happened here? The best grass. The best grass is on top of that hill. So we went with our sheep. And then we saw a bright light. I thought I thought the break I thought it was the moon falling out of the sky but it was the it was a bright man. A bright man? Yeah, yeah, we almost ran away, but he took but the bright man told us not to be afraid and that he had some angel mail for us. We all thought that we had won a great prize, but he told us that a great savior had been born in Bethlehem. In a manger. At first I was like, a manger? But that's where we keep food for our sheep and donkey. How now? Mm-hmm. So we ran over there to see what happened. And for sure, what they said was so true. Suddenly, there were all these other angels that joined him, all of them excited. I thought I missed the UEFA championships or something. They were all excited and sang a song of praise. They sang Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. The, in the highest glory to God in the highest heavens and peace on earth on those who God is pleased. What they were saying is the truth. It is as though I was there. I have never seen so many bright men in my life. You could see the light from my estate. So as I was standing in the balcony, I called my friend Ruth. And you know, she knows everybody on our street. Soon, everyone was on video. There were so many people out there to witness this event. This news was too great to keep to yourself. I told Ms. Usela, that's why we're all here. That's why we're all here. Our friends told their friends who told their friends who told their friends. It's a big party everywhere. This is too great to keep to ourselves. It's celebration all around us. Ah, Beth, as you can see. Let's see if we can catch up with Joseph. I'm not sure we if I'm not sure we will be able to see Mary. But Joseph is stepped out. I think he's about to address the nation. The king is bomb. The king is bomb. The king is bomb. The king is bomb. Okay, okay. Thank you all for coming. Mary is fine, baby Jesus is fine too. Aunt request us to keep our noise down. The, no, the baby just left and you don't even want to imagine the night we've had. Thank you all for coming. Joe, excuse me Joe, wait a minute. My name is Jerome, I am a reporter from Generation News and I want to ask you a few questions. Okay, but make it quick. I need to go look for, for some fruits. Mary needs some First avocados. First of all, congratulations on your new baby. How has this experience been for you? Um, I have had the most strange night of my life. You see, we planned this trip. It was just Mary and I. It was just going to be Mary and I. And then I got a message from... She got a message from Angel Gabs that she was to have a child. A child? I felt so betrayed. I felt so betrayed. How she do? Th how could she do this to me? I was going to break up with her. I mean, would you believe her? I was going to just ghost her and then block her number. But then, as I was sleeping, the angel told me, "Chill out. The child was to be called Jesus, and 
and would save people from their from their sins. And I I didn't understand anything everything, but I remember what my dad told me: always believe in God. Always. So Mary will be my wife, and I guess uh, my firstborn is the son of God. Anyway, I have to become a father. It's scary and exciting at the same time. Wow. And have you received any visitors other and other than angels? Oh yeah, the first people they were shepherds. Then there are some guys came from the east and a whole lot of people. Oh yeah, I need to get more juice and tea leaves. The guests keep on coming. It was not what I would wanted for her, but hey, she is comfortable for now, and that's all that matters. I better run. Thank you, Jerome, for coming. There you've heard it. First and exclusive to Generation News. All that's left for us is to join in the celebration. I know future generations call it Christmas, but really, this is a happy birthday, Jesus. That's quite, that's quite something. Poor Joseph. In case you missed out on our last bulletin, you can catch up with it on our channel, uh, at a, in our channel, channels, at Kilimanjaro Community Church, both on YouTube and on, both on Facebook and on YouTube. We'll be back after this short break. Good morning everyone. My name is Eshe Shevel Zuri. Our memory verse is Matthew chapter 2 verse 1. It says Jesus was born in Bethlehem, Judea during the reign of King Herod. Bye-bye. Hey everyone, my name is Joel Pendo and today we are reading the book of Matthew chapter 2 from verse 2 to 4 which says About that time some wise men from Eastern land arrived in Jerusalem asking Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star as it rose and we have come to worship him. King Herod was deeply disturbed when he heard this as was everyone in Jerusalem. He called a meeting of the leading priests and teachers of the teachers the religion of law and asked, where is, the, where is the Messiah supposed to be born? Thank you. Chapter 2, verse 6 to 7, it says, While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. Luke chapter 2, verse 11. Today, in the town of David, a savior has been born. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Luke chapter 2, verse 14, he says, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth, peace to 
Dos und ist Bewerrest. Welcome back. The people went, who went to see Jesus brought a gift at, to him. We, we can bring, we, we too can bring a gift to our Savior using our giving channels. Please bring and pay, pay bill number 488700 and 510800. Account name K3C. Again, Mpesa pay bill number 488700 or 510800. Account name K3C. Ask your parent or guardian to help you with this. Christmas carols for you. Enjoy. Oh yes. Enjoy. Good. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Blessing us with such an amazing song. Let me ask you something. How long have you been singing? Uh, thank you so much for having us here, Madam Beth. And yes, we have been singing for the last one year. What would you what would you tell other kids out there who have a talent like you do? Well, I'd like to tell them it's all about passion, consistency, and perseverance. Most of perseverance in whatever you do. Do you believe in Santa Claus? Yeah, I used to believe in him when I was still young. When I was to see him in TV, but I was wondering why is he not coming in Africa? <laughs> but right now I don't, I don't believe in him. If you met Santa today, what is the one question you would ask him? Okay, okay, why is he fat? <laughs> why does he have a big chubby? Why is he always white? <laughs> and when is he coming to Africa? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why does he have white beards and white hair? Mm -hmm. And he lives, he lives in North Pole in snow. Actually, I've always waited for him for the longest time possible. Oh, really? <laughs> sure, but yeah, let's hope that he'll come, a day will come in. Uh -huh. Let's knock it off, yeah? Yeah, yeah. let's hold it to him. And when he comes, he's not to be present. Come. Yeah, yeah. 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 if he's true, that, that is. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, have you been a good boy? <laughs> 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 we open this question to our viewers at home. What is the one thing you have always wanted to know? Next week we will have a real life Santa answering all your questions. So send your questions to the number 077 or on the comment section in this channel. I have I have a question. Who came up with the name Christmas and why twenty and why twenty fifth December and not thirty first May? I also have questions of my own. Indeed, Jesus is the reason for the season. On the twenty fifth of December we will have a live service on Facebook as we sing and celebrate Jesus our newborn king. So do join the team. And that's it from our news desk. Theo and I will join with Jerome as we celebrate baby Jesus. Indeed, indeed, the king is here. That's very true, Simi. King Jesus is indeed here. We have a blessed Sunday. Bye. Is the Uber here yet? Hi, guys. Today we are going to be singing Jingle Bells. Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells,
Our next song is We Wish You a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.